Proving people wrong, I think, is a big part of Frank's drive. A competitor, relentless, tireless worker. Frank the Tank, that's the first thing that comes to mind, right? When he gets out there, he just on automatic cruise control. When you watch film of him, everything has been between the tackles. Direction as he goes over the middle, breaking tackles, he could go! His contact balance and his leg drive, they're always going. The 30, headed to the right side across the 40. A very powerful, punishing runner. Driving forward into the end zone, touchdown, Frank Gore! Only four guys have rushed for over 15,000 yards. That's incredible. It just blows your mind when you think about it. That running ability, that running style, you would think that you would be injured a little bit more. A lot of people said he wouldn't make it this far, but he's out to prove everybody wrong. The middle, breaks one tackle, breaks another! 25-30, in the field, 40, he's gone! Touchdown! Touchdown, Buffalo Frank Gore! I asked myself, how do you do it? And it was just work. Well, he hasn't practiced before practice. You could hear him rehearsing the play over and over again in his mind, basically getting mental reps. There's no stone unturned when it comes to details. You see it on his face when he's out there. It's the love for the game. That's what keeps him going. Dom, what's up, baby? What up, man? Chill. How you doing? I'm good. You good? This here was my kryptonite. I did not like coming in the weight room. I hear this is your office right here. <laughs> well, I feel like, you know, when you play my opposition running back, the weight room is your best friend. Especially when you get older, the more my body moves, the better I feel during the day. Frank is always up early, always working out. It doesn't matter <laughs> what day it is. You know, I've definitely heard he, he's up around 5.30. I haven't been up that early, so, you know, I didn't see it, but I heard it. He just has that time clock, it's time to work out. He's been doing it for so long, it's just natural for him. I want to show the young guys that this is what it takes to play 15 years, man. Right. You know, you got to work, man, if you want to have longevity. This past year, I worked out my little young gangster motor. How is he? Is he a guy that you can look like, say, in a couple of years, this guy here is yeah. going to be legit? What I love about him, how humble he is. Growing up, everybody always said, I look like Frank, I run like Frank. And then for us to actually end up on the team together, I was like, wow. And um, I was ready to get to work with him. Very natural. See how much he care about the game, he love the game. I look up, he there. Every day, he in my hip pocket, man. Yeah. I was like, okay, I got to <laughs> take this kid up under my wing, you know? I'm helping him, and I'm also helping myself. He likes to compete against the young guys just to see where he's at. So it's kind of a measuring stick for him. This guy only 21, 22. If I could keep up with him, then I'm going to be fine. He's just working hard day in and day out, basically never getting comfortable. Always finding ways to better your body, better yourself, and try to better the people around you. you just show him the way, how to be a pro and how to last in your career. He's one of the best mentors I had. Growing up, who was the running back that you really watched the most and really admired the most? Guys who I looked up to in the NLD, Emmitt Smith, very patient, great eyes. I also love you. You know, you was tough, played all three down, catch the ball very well. One-on-ones, you beating them. The face mask you have, I couldn't Yeah, I had the face mask. <laughs> See, people always ask me about that. I've been having that face mask since I started playing football right, right. in seventh grade. Many great backs come through the National Football League. Marcus Allen. Eric Dickerson, Jerome Bettis, Curtis Martin. Only four guys have rushed for over 15,000 yards. Another give to Gore. Finds room over the left side. He is down at the 41-yard line. That's a gain of seven, and that is enough. Frank Gore is now the third all-time leading rusher in NFL history. How about that? Emmitt Smith, Walter Payton, Barry Sanders, Frank Gore. You're in that company. How does it make you feel? I'm blessed. And it's just a huge accomplishment for him just to be even mentioned with the names above him. In my opinion, he's up there with just about anybody. Obviously, a lot of people seeing the tweet. Barry congratulated you. One of the all-time great, if not the greatest. Right, right. How did that make you feel? Man, it was big, cuz. That's Barry Sanders, man. Right? Come on, man, Thurman. What he did in 10 years, 15,000, man. That's big. He appreciates when those guys do reach out to him, but the records don't really matter. He just loves football. But he's very humble, very prideful, 
and he doesn't really get caught up in it. You know, it's my honor, you know, just to be around him. You know, every day I get to be with him every day. You know what I'm saying? I get to learn from him. for this offense to break. You know, you know. Just very humbling to watch his approach. Just the love of the game and being able to compete. It's what drives him every day. He's just a competitor. In your whole game repertoire, what are one of the things that you take a lot of pride in doing? My running back coach, Tom Rothman. Yeah, yeah. Um, I played against Tom. Right, right, right. <laughs> he told me, if you want to be a different bat, you got to do everything right. You know, you got to protect, you got to catch, you got to run. You know, a lot of running backs really don't care about picking up blocks. When he challenged me to, to get better at that, that was my biggest thing. I took pride in protecting the quarterback. I mean, that's the competitive edge yep. that comes out like, yeah, I'm going to defeat you instead of you defeating me. Yep. So I get where you're coming from. So when you have a quarterback like I had, like a Jim Kelly, to give him that extra second was something that I took a lot of pride in. And back then, I back was like D linemen, man. Yeah, I mean, the game has changed. But one thing I did like, it was during the Tennessee Titan game. Oh, yeah. At the end of the game, you know, it's a four minute drill. We run this clock out. Game over. Game over. You were out there. What was it like? I was happy I was in there because yeah. I'm like this. The more I touch the ball, the better I am. Oh, you know how it is, yeah. man. You get in that rhythm, you don't care what they do. Coach Dayball's like, hey, he asked me what I like. I was like, call power, right. call, <laughs> you know, we play with the linebacker. 238, 237 left. Bills are up 14 to 7. To run the football when they know you're going to run it, and we had to run it to win the game. Everybody's counting on them. It's a mindset. You got to have something in you, and you got to make something happen. I formation offset to the right, the snap. I knew they was doing an all-out blitz. And I saw, I think, the outside backer from the outside edge. So I said, you know what, I'm going to let him crash, and I'm going to come behind him. And they give it to Gore. I took some time on my little job oh, step. Let's see, yeah, he slowed so, it down yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Slowed it down a little bit. Gore breaks a tackle. Now he has room over the left side. Into Tennessee territory. First down, Buffalo. And the celebration is on. Being a veteran guy and knowing that that guy's going to crash down like yeah. that, I don't have to go full speed. Right. I don't have to go full speed. You know, and a lot of people don't notice me like, oh, well, he had seven and a half yards now instead of seven yards. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> it just shows how much of a dog he is. Everything from the physicality to the vision to the balance of body control that he had epitomized everything. And I say I'm blessed because what I've been through, man, it was a challenge to get here. Two ACLs, two shoulders, man getting doubted. A lot of people said he couldn't get it done. Saying San Francisco reached by picking me in the third round. Saying I only played two or three years, you know, in the 15 years, still having fun, still having success. Not many people can say that, man. and it's crazy because he's still going. I'm just blessed. I work hard. I love what I do. I love what I do. Your decision to come to Buffalo, to me, I think is one of the best kept secrets in the NFL. I mean, I, I still live here. Right, right, right. Because right. I love it here, I love the passionate fans. What do you think about Buffalo? When I got here, man, when I got around the guys and the coaches, it's a family, man. That's what I love. Our culture feeds off of Frank, and Frank feeds off of our culture. Just the style at which he approaches the game is, is really how we want to play. Gore, driving forward, touchdown, Frank Gore! And the Bills get the lead back again. With so 15 years later, obviously the game has changed. What are you still striving to accomplish? Well, I still love it. I'm still having fun. Got a young guy, Devin, a great kid who I feel like I can help. He works, he's relentless. You know, that gives me motivation to just keep going harder day in and day out. Make him be successful in this league. Once I see him doing his thing, you know, I'll be like, hey, I got a part of that, you know? So, right, and I'll right. be good. And that's what it's all about. To have that veteran leadership in that running back position. Leadership that he brings. When he speaks, everybody listens. Everything that he's been through, everything that he's accomplished, and he's still going. Him and Sproles are the only one left in his draft class. So that's also fueling him too, to outlast him. I, as a former running back here with the Buffalo Bills, really appreciate everything you've done on the field and off the field. You have been everything and more. Thank you. And I appreciate that. And I remember you come up to me, man, when I was with the coach. We went to coach. I met you right out, uh, yeah, out there. You're like, man, I, I appreciate the way you play the game. That meant a whole lot. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm I saying? Was, I was there just for that reason, because I had never met you before. That made me feel good, man. You know, because I respect what you've done this league when, you know, when your time was here. And, knowing how tough this game is, and man, I was so happy. Well, man, I appreciate Thanks, it, man. man. Thanks for uh, sitting down and having a conversation oh, yeah. with Anytime. me about your career. Anytime, man.